for the very important part. Without dialogue work process, you cannot log in, right? So that is the dialogue also very important here. Today, we'll discuss about the, the another topic is the SAP, the client administration. SAP, the client administration will discuss here. What is mean by client? So what is client here? Client is a, so what is client here, right? So client is a one of the business entity. Client is a one of the business entity. To run your business, you need a client in SAP, right? So definitely, to log into the SAP system, you need a client. But sir, already clients are there. Can't we use those clients? No. Why? Because those are provided by the SAP system. Those clients are provided by the SAP system. SAP, first of all. Which means those are the master client. It contains the master data. Master client, it contains the master data here, right? So, but our users, our business users will create the transactional data. So, you will not get any transactions data. If the user login will do the one payment, that is the one of the transactional data here. So, client is then one of the business entity to run the business, you need a client. To run the business, you need a client here. So, normally the client number, we have the triple zero to triple nine up to these things we can create it up to thousand clients we can create but already triple zero and double zero one clients are there here triple zero and the double zero one clients already you will come as part of the installation these two are the master clients these two are the master client these two are the master clients it contains the master data these are the master clients it contains the master data it contains the master master clients it contains the master data right we can create these are the master clients it contains the master data okay that is the client client is an one of the business entity right so hello yes but previously there is a 066 also is a master client uh, that is not there. If the client is exist, definitely I can tell you, right? That is not there. That is not part of the new installations. That is the previously old one. You can ignore that word is also you can remove it. Okay. Oh, that is okay. not exist. SAP remove this client. It's not exist anymore, anymore in SAP systems. Okay. Anymore in SAP systems here. So it's not exist anymore in SAP system. So if it is there, definitely you will get this client also, right? That's why I'm not explaining about this client, okay? This is the master clients here, okay? So only up to 1,000 clients. If it's the old system, if a customer is already in the old system, he's not done any client, so definitely this client must be exist. So as per recent SAP recommendations, so whenever you do the new installations or any new thing, so always the EWR SAP recommend to de delete this client. So it does, does not exist anymore. Okay. These two clients you will get in the new installations. So Hello? these are the master clients. We can install. Hello? Yes. Sir, uh, why they have removed that uh, zero double six? Can you? Just... You can ask SAP. <laughs> why you? This they have removed. Yeah. Why you are asking me? Uh, past they have used that as zero double six. This is the EWA client. This is the EWA client. Early watch client. Okay. okay. They have, this is the EWA client, they have merged EWA analysis everything into the service marketplace, means that functionalities they have removed into the service marketplace and solution manager, they have removed, they have integrated. So, separate client is not required for the, so in the SAP systems, so, so they keep on innovating new things and everything, that's why they have separated and so you don't need to use the 066 client and everything, we don't require. Okay, okay. Thank you. So there we are. Okay. So these are the two clients, two master clients we will get as part. Of, but now we need to create the one more client. Why? Because we cannot store our business data. We cannot uh, use the master clients in the in the default clients. So we need to create the one client here. So client creation we have to do that one. So how to create the client? So 
uh, what number we have to give it. So do you have to give your own fancy number? No. So what is the number? So as per the, so we have, we need to check with the customer only. Why? Because it's customer system. So customer only, we have to check it out. Either, so what is the number he suggested? The same number, we have to keep it. So most of the customer, they will go for the 100. So very uh, fancy double digits, so they will go for the double zeros, they will go for this one. Some customers, they will go for the 400. Some customers, they will go for, that is depends, depends upon the customer, depends upon the customer. So they will go for, so each and every client here, okay? So that is the one thing here, okay? That is the depends upon the customer, okay? So now how to create the client here? How to create the client? How to create the client? So using the SEC4 transaction code, we can create the client. Using the SEC4 transaction code, we can create the client here. But directly can we create the client or is there any dependency? Yes. So there is a dependency. There is a dependency to for there is a dependency for creation of the client here. What is the dependency means logical system creation logical system creation we have to perform in the sale or bd54 transaction code sir why the logical systems are required for the client creation so what is mean by logical system here what is mean by logical system here so logical system to identify the client within the landscape to identify the client within the landscape so we need a we need a logical systems we need a logical systems in sap okay to identify the client sir why identification is required what is the logical system what is the client why client is required why client is required to run the business to, to save our business data so definitely you need a one client creation is required but that is fine we can create the client but why that there is a dependency to create the client logical system why because in a landscape in a landscape here yeah i'm coming to that part only <laughs> you asked for the question in between okay so in a landscape landscape means so so in a landscape suppose like if you take the ecc landscape here in the ecc landscape you have the development sap system quality sap system and so the production SAP system here, that is the ECC. If you take the CRM, development, quality, production, right? Why? Because all activities we will not do in one system, right? So there are the multiple activities like development, development system, quality, quality system, production, production system, we will make it. But client number, we have to maintain all the systems same. Some customers, they will maintain the differently, but they, they wish here. But we have to maintain the same. Suppose like 100 clients you are maintaining. So here also you need to create the 100 client. So here also you need to create the 100 client. Here also you need to create the 100 client. So here also 100 client. But SAD is the development SAD. This is the quality SAD. This is the so production SAD. So you have the development, quality, production. Right? This, this two are, these three are called the landscape. Landscape means in a landscape we have so development, quality, production. Suppose like that we have the ECC landscape, NetWeaver landscape, S4 landscape. So then so PO landscape, portal landscape, CRM landscape, SRM landscape, like that we have the landscape. Each landscape we have so number of systems. Why? Because each landscape we have not only one system. Each landscape we have development system, quality system. Then production system, each landscape, we have the systems here, each landscape. So each landscape, we have the development quality, the production systems here. But sir, you mentioned like the same client in the each system, each system, we have the same client, right? Each system, we have the same client. Then, so, but uh, the data is coming from outside, but how, where to store it? Well, because this system also, 100 client this is also 100 client this is also 100 client we have the three systems here three systems here then both are in the different 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 clients here then where to store the data here so that is the reason and also in one system we have the multiple clients right so we have the 
triple zero, double zero one, then hundred, two hundred, three hundred multiple clients we can create it. But where to store the data? In which client we have to store the data? Suppose take example one system. In one system, we have the triple zero, double zero one, hundred client. So where to store the data? When the data is coming to the here, which client? This client or this client or this client, this client. Why? Because each and every client you need to have the separate login. If you want to log into this system, you need to log into the this client only. So if you want to go to the this client, you need to again go to the this client. You have to log in separate login for this client. Means user management is separate for each and every client here. So, but here where to store the data? How to identify to store the data here? That is the reason to identify the client within the landscape. Which system you want to store the data? We need to create a logical system. Why? Because the logical system has some naming convention. Logical system has some naming convention here, right? Suppose, suppose like development CLNT. So what is the name? Means SID CLNT and client number. The development system development SID CLNT and the client. So development CLNT 200 client. So development CLNT 300 client. So like the this logical system naming convention will differ, will differentiate to store the data. If it is 100 client, then 100 client, then 200 client, 200 client. So that both are different. So directly data will come to store into the, the 200 client here. Directly data will come to store into the data into one, one system here, right? Directly data will come and store into the here. But sir, I already logged into the one client. I want to see the, so under client data means that is not possible. Why? Because that is called the cross client, cross client data. That is not possible. So that's why we have the setting, client settings. Settings are there. When you are creating, when you are going to create the client, client, we have the settings. So you want to do the uh, other client's data also, you want to change it from this client or only this client. So we have the, some settings. So if you close that settings, what will happen? We cannot see the data, that client data, we cannot see it. Why? Because table is only one. In one table, all the clients get, all the clients data is getting stored, right? But if you don't have the logical system, everything will be merged. In one street, we have the three Ravis are there, right? In one street, we have the three Ravis are there, Ravi, 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 right? But all are in the one street. But I want to specific to only, I want to hand over to the specific Ravi. Then we need to we need to differentiate it. Differentiation means based upon the other card number or pawn number, we are differentiating, right? Same as like here, here based upon the logical system, we are differentiating the, the client, client between the systems. And based upon the logical system, within the system way to store the data, then in the one table, we have the uh, one table, table is only one. If you are creating the student's table, so Ravi is there in the three states, three Ravis, you have to fill it. But, but here client is only one, table is only one, then how, how we are differentiating? So based upon the logical systems, you are differentiating the Ravis here. So Ravi one data will go to here, Ravi 10, two data will go to here, Ravi three data is differentiating in the 300 clients here. So that's why we have the logical system. Without logical system, so suppose we cannot create the client, first of all. If you create the client, that's fine. But in the future, we may get the issues like, so So if the two Ravis are there, so then how to store the data here, right? So in the two clients, two Ravis are there, then there is a duplicate entries, right? So that's why, so to differentiate the client's data and everything, we have the logical, logical systems we have to create it here. Then how to create the logical system and how to assign it means. So using the BD54 or sale transaction code, we can create the, we can define the logical system. Then when you are creating the client, you can assign the logical system to client so that, okay, this is the 100 client, 100 client logical system is the, so this is the one, so data will be differentiated. This is the 200 client, then 200 client data logical system is the 200 client. So the data will be stored into the 200 client only, right? 
So, but table is only one, right? Database is only one. For each client, there is no separate database, right? SAP, each SAP, entire SAP system, we have only one table, one database, only one database, but only one table also. In that one table only, we have the 100 client data stores, 200 client data stores, 300 client data stores. So, for this identification purpose only, to identification, then to avoid the duplicates and differentiation purpose only, we have the logical system concept, SAP introduced it here. So that, so based upon the client, the, so if there is an entry will be created, the 200 client you are creating, the data creating in the 200 client means, so based upon this logical system only, all the 200 client data will point to the, this one only. Based upon this one only, all the 100 client data will be stored. Why? Because 100 client, you have the Ravi is there, 200 client, we have the Ravi is there. But to avoid the duplicates, based upon the logical system, it will be differentiated. Data based on this one, this will be differentiated here. Okay. So that is the one here. So let's go to create the logical system here. Go to the, any, so go to the here. <clears throat> any one of the client. Someone imported the logo. Good, good. Okay. So logo How is... much client can we create in one How SID? NM, you, you joined very lately? No, 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 no. Did you see this one? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay, fine. So, so then, so here, uh, first of all, client creation we can done using the SCC code, transaction code, right? So by default, you will get that triple zero, double zero one. Some members, they have already created a lot of, lots of clients they have created. So people see already they are practicing and they have created the multiple clients they have created, right? So they have created the multiple clients we can create it. So up to thousand clients we can create in the systems, up to thousand clients. But no one will create the thousand clients. There is unnecessary usage, right? So for this purpose, what they will do? So unnecessarily, they, they won't create all those clients here. Sir, will it consume more memory, sir? The more client will yeah, yeah, uh, Each client, so, so why because table data, data is coming means, uh, each client, the data is coming means definitely the size will be increased, right? Similar way here also here. Similar way here also the data will be reduced here. So using the SCC4 is the transaction code we can create the client, we can create the client here, right? Go to the change mode, go to the change mode here, right? There is an entry will come like new entry, new entry, right? Click on the new entry here. Then here, what is the client number? You are going to create a 100 client, fine. What is the client name? This is the NW1, so 100 client description, just to give any description that will not create different. What is the city here, right? So Hyderabad, so the client is based upon the Hyderabad. Normally here people will give you their, their own country names, London, something like uh, US East, something like their own naming convention, they will give it here. Logical system, you cannot manually type it, then logical system here. So then you need to browse the logical system here. So where are these logical systems here? You need to create the logical system here itself. But uh, so we need to create the logical system. Again, you need to cancel this screen or you need to keep it. You have to open the one more screen and again, you need to create the logical system. So for client creation, the logical system is very important here. Then you can go to the, you can open the one more session. So BD54 or sale, we can use the transaction code directly. So here we can see the client logical system, we can create it, right? Suppose click on the new entry, which, which client you are going to create, suppose like NW1, what is the syntax we have to give it? SID, CL, and T, client number for the logical system creation, SID, CLNT, what is the client? Suppose like 400 client, then 400 client, name, NW1, 400 client, anything name you can give it, okay? But should be the proper one, 
right? So you're creating the logical system like this here. Just click on the save button, right? Entry already existed the same thing. So someone already created. Let's create the 500 client. Hello, sir. Yes. So first we have to define logical system and after that we can create client. Right. Okay. So that's why we are facing issue right now. So right mm -hmm. now already the logical system is not exist. So that's why what we are doing now when we are going to create the client logical system is not there. Then again we open the one more screen. So this time again we are creating a few So that is the reason prerequisite logical system you have to create it whatever the client you have to create the logical system suppose like 900 client you are creating so 900 logical system you have created here right 900 so logical system you created data is saved here right you have the logical systems 900 logical system you created 900 right you created the logical system others also created but i created the 900 here now we can go to the here so so 900 is the client you are creating then here nw1 900 client you are creating then what is the logical system just you can browse it here so you have to browse it browse it means where is the 900 client this is the 900 client then so 900 client came to here but how you got this entry here in the browse screen here means you created earlier as part of the prerequisite you created the entry in the sale or bd 54 transaction code you created right then so someone asked right sir how to suppose i don't want to change the settings uh, how to so like can we change the other client data from this client and everything means so here you have the settings here so the clients client specific objects suppose some so the the data the programs reports all those are the so client specific only right user master record users all are the client specific remaining all are cross client like suppose table changes table you can do the changes from so triple zero and double zero one hundred client same table you can open from the three different clients you can open it so right so you can open it so here what you are doing to do now so these are the client settings so first of all currency what is the client currency so it's a euro europe or so uh, no pound euros so european euro okay so r what is the client role here which client you are creating a development client a training client customization test client production production is the last so which means uh, where the business will run right so this is not the production system this is just only test system or development system so customization so then client settings here these all are the client settings here so if you type this one if you select this one so this client this 900 client which you are creating so change they, anyone can do the changes but there is no record means it will not save the record like who changed what they have changed and everything if you delete it also nothing will be recorded so automatic regarding of changes someone performs some changes some deletion some changes here that will be recorded if you choose this option no changes are allowed which means changes are not allowed means no one can perform any changes in the 900 client they cannot delete they cannot create they cannot do any so country changes or anything they cannot do anything in the in this client so no changes allowed right so this kind of settings we have here right if you choose the changes without automatic recording no transports allowed so they can do the changes but recorded but they no it will not ask any transport request to save the changes to the other system so this is a rarely we will use it so maybe either you you have to use this one second or third we have to use it suppose like if you open this one someone will do the changes in the client specific changes someone delete the entry someone create the entry there is no record here right there is no record for so what has been changed and everything there is no record here so that's why we have to keep for the development systems for non-production systems we have to keep we have to keep so this automatic recording changes here the production systems we have to keep no changes are allowed no changes are allowed for the production systems. why because production 
production means so we can now we cannot directly go ahead and change your account details and everything in the production why because we have that's why we have the systems right development system quality system production systems we have the system development quality production all the development changes everything will happen here then it will move to the quality then quality they will perform the testing success then then only they will move the changes to the production where the business runs so actual business will run on the production system only actual business will run in the production system here right the production actual business runs here so that so 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 but something is required here some bugs are required here some functionalities we have to introduce it here directly you cannot do the changes here but because it's a production so if you do it here some other functionality will be impacted so there is a proper testing and development is required so that's why they will go to the development development sap system they will do the changes they will move to the quality they will test it everything is okay successful there is no harm then only they will move to the production system so this this way we are the three systems or four systems in the landscape they will create it three or four systems they will create in the landscape here right so that is the one here right sir uh if you do the changes here same same change we have to we have to take it here if you do the changes here same changes we have to move to the here so whatever there here same changes should move to the production as well but directly you cannot do the changes in the production why because it's a production business will run so if you are doing something something wrong other business impacted you have the loss business loss financial loss right so that is the reason proper way of the testing is the development quality and production right so but sir here we have the three clients i am doing the changes in the 100 client will affect the all the clients no if you are doing the only that this client specific changes you are only doing only this client specific only you are doing means it will affect to the only this client only so if you are doing the changes of the cross client cross client means it's applicable for the all the clients here so if you don't want to change the cross client no changes are allowed about the repository objects or customization objects these are the class cross client the right? customization means our developers will do the some developments that is applicable for the all the clients and repository changes so tables structures class those are applicable for the all the clients so you want to do the doubt changes then you can select this one i don't want to do the no changes are allowed to the cross client cross client means no changes are allowed the all the cross client means so which means so you are in the 100 client you are logged into the 100 client you cannot do the changes to the 900 client other client data you cannot change us here so those changes will restrict it sir how can we restrict it here by, by changing the client settings by changing the client settings we can do the changes here. by doing these changes we can restrict it here by doing these changes we can restrict it. then click on the create symbol click on the save it then data is saved and the client got created data is saved client got created suppose if you do the restrict here you are doing the restriction here right so no cross client changes so no changes to the repository and the client specific which means some now you are in the 100 client 900 client now you are in you created the 900 client but some other person logged into the 100 client he want to perform the changes in the 900 client means he cannot do why because cross client changes are closed here cross client changes are closed here you cannot perform any changes right so that is the reason we have the cross client changes are closed here sir means cross client means if we change one client then it will reflect in all the clients no no not that one if you change the one client it will reflect the all the clients means so it's not the select all approach so cross client means some people some people they will be in the different client then they want to do the some changes about the 900 client specific data so that time the cross client changes are not editable if you want to do any changes you need to log into the 900 client only you have to do the 900 client data only so it's not like that you are logged into the 100 client you want to do the some changes about the 900 client object cross client object means that changes will not be reflected here why because yes changes you chosen as a no changes no cross client no repository changes 
or class client objects are not changed you have selected this option which means any cross client changes it related to the 900 client you cannot do changes sorry so, in which situation this cross client objects will be helpful so developers will do so we don't do any developments developers will perform these activities so sometimes they may require the for testing purpose they will do that uh, they want to test it something but we don't have more systems then what they will do they will perform in the 100 client then they will move to the 200 client they will test it here okay then they will do the same changes to the 300 client they will test it here so if you do the changes here then it will be moved it will be applicable for all the clients means they can the proper testing will not happen so that is the purpose they will for development for any development system they will create the two three clients they will create it two or three or three or four five clients they will create it for testing purpose unit testing black box testing there are the multiple test cases they will execute it developers that right. testing purpose only they will create the multiple clients and this settings also useful for them only the settings also useful for them only so development always development means the development system only why because direct changes in the development system so that's why we have to keep the changes to be open so production we should not do the changes if it is a production system then you have to close the changes why because proper organization means the proper changes will come to the proper manner right you have to complain someone you have to go with the proper channel right so then if you direct you cannot directly go to the ceo right so we have to go to the manager hr direct so like senior some aspect to junior directors so senior directors like that we will go one by one one by one approach same as like here as well so we have to go to the one proper way we have to go here one proper way we have to go to from so one proper changes proper way means development quality production like that the sequence wise we need to move the changes we need to move the code sequence wise we need to perform the activities here so sorry we are the three systems so directly why we have to perform the you have done the some changes here background job you have created here means you need to create here here and here also you need to create they will ask you to perform the creation in the production client then so boss this is not implemented in the development and quality we have to implement in the development quality then we need to test one week how it is behaving because of the background job creation it's not creating any issues in the existing system then only we can move the changes to the production otherwise we will not create anything in the production why because the production operations are very dangerous production business live data will happen because of your small background job entire system will go down sometimes so their, their business is lost right during that day their time business is lost here so that might be the reason so so they will not single mistake also single mistake also human mistakes or system mistakes also they will not tolerate in the directly in the production systems here so what we have to do we have to carefully plan it why because customers are not indian some customers indian customers we can ignore it okay but some customers are in the non-Indians, they have, they need always go for the process wise, carefully process wise here. If something wrong, then we have to go for home only. They will fire us sometimes because of why they are fired the employees sometimes. So lack of performance, many issues, manual mistakes and everything because of this is not following the correct proper manner, all those things only, right? So we have to follow the correct sequence, correct order, correct follow. If you don't know, we have to ask. Or what is the procedure we have to follow so they will tell like developments quality production so if you directly perform in the production it is harmed first they will ask you did you test did you perform in the development and the quality no then why you have not performed you are a basis consultant having five years of experience then you should know about this basic understanding right why you have not done it then immediately there is a escalation from the customer they will escalate it purely so but development side development team will take care of but our duty is close the settings in the production settings client settings closes means these are the settings we have to close it then they can do the changes from here to here here to here if someone asks you directly perform in the production don't do so please do it in the development quality 
productions like that we have to perform okay so logical system creation we have to do it in the sec4 or sorry sale or bd54 this is the naming convention right client creation sec4 we have to create it using the so sec4 we can open the form and we can fill it out all the details here so the settings and all blindly you can take it out except production remaining all the system the settings will be opened suppose your settings are closed now okay now suppose you are trying to do some changes let me show you you are trying to do the some changes what changes suppose like bd54 or some changes you are doing here so see here data is locked we want to this okay already i think i locked i think here I locked means okay it already I opened it means already I opened the table that's why it's saying that data is locked so this is what is the class client it will show like this is the class client table means all the clients data we can store in this table only so like that it will display it here this is a cross client right it will show the data this is a cross client it will show the data so but some some changes directly cannot do the changes in the uh, if it, the settings are closed right so if you want to do something suppose like uh, what changes it will say like your uh, set client settings are closed so we you cannot directly you cannot do the changes like that you will get the error message so which means client settings are closed which means go to the sec4 oh client settings are closed so then we can open the client after the proper approval 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 is required to open the client in the production then open the client go to the change mode open the client mode means just you can automatic record of changes the settings we have to do you need to do these settings you need to do and so you need to allow the these settings two settings you have to enable it then save it then then after that time the people will perform the the changes in the system people will perform the changes in the system so so sometimes yeah. interviewer is asking like uh, what is your sap system landscape so how to answer that question so my sap landscapes my my landscape contains and how to check my landscape contains ECC, BW, CRM, SRM, so PI, PO, so either five or six, five products you can tell us. But each mm. landscape, each system, suppose like each ECC landscape, we have the three or four systems are there. Either three or four you can tell, like don't tell like three or four. I have the three systems are there, development, quality, production. BW landscape, you have the development, quality, production. CRM landscape, development, quality, production system. Like that we have to answer. Okay, and how to check? Like, uh, is there any what settings? You, what do you want to check? I, mean, I want to check the landscape of all the systems. In your login pad, you will get the, all the systems, right? Mm, yes. Then that, that is the way you can check it out. Or if you go to the SLD, you will check the, all the information. Or your, whoever built the system, you have the landscape diagrams, landscape documents, everything they will provide you. So then they will provide the all the details and everything, how many systems are there in your landscape. So all those things they will provide you. Otherwise, if you go to the STMS, STMS, if you go to the STMS, the next topic. So there also you can find out what how many systems are in your landscape. Yes, STMS is the best approach. Here you will see the list of systems here, how many systems are there in your landscape. So all the information will be displayed here. One system, one system like that, all the information will be shown. This is a after the client administration, you will get the STMS topic. So to answer to your question, in the STMS, in the systems tab, we can check the how many systems are there in our land in our landscape. It will give you the information. Okay. So here it will give you the number of systems. Ten systems are there. Ten systems will be displayed here. Sir, if the client asks uh, for a new, I mean. Uh, the customer asks for new client on only one particular uh, environment. Uh, how do we check for the system? Uh, as I asked for memory, right? 
uh, in the same way uh, how do we check the system uh, client creation uh, okay only client creation you ask then we can do that one but client to copy other client data you want to copy the this system data then the, we need to estimate the size of the client also what is the size of the existing client so then same uh, size we have to maintain in the year as well so we have to check whether the we have the free space are there or not in the system if yes then we can create the client we can copy the that client data to here okay and for fresh implementation uh, do we ask for client details in the beginning is itself yes. sir yeah beginning itself sid we have to ask it what is the client number we have to keep it so like that we have to ask the so how many clients we have to create in the development so quality production is only one so development how many clients we have to create it here so like that we have to ask them these questions or they will tell you any tool sir uh, to determine the uh, size like quick size or like uh, in that one for so many in the quick size or tool we can find out the so size of the your sap system not the client so if you want to find out the client size how much size is have the existing client reports we have there is a report in sa38 rs space check rs client size check we have the reports here that report we have to execute it so we are going to test that reports also why because once the client creation logical system is done then the next topic is the so client copies the next topic is for the client copies here so this topic in the client copies to copy the you have already data is here your client asked for the one more client how to copy this data to the here because by default if you create the client client data will not come here but customer asked this client data to the new client then how to perform this client copy right so then there is a process we have to follow that time you will come to know how to before copying the data we need to estimate the size so that sizing reports we have to execute it okay sir okay so for today you, what you have to do you need to create the one client and the logical system so first of all you need to define the logical system then client creation has to be performed client creation has to be performed okay okay sir.